This is my journey to becoming a streetball legend, day 111. So once again, started my practice off with Get Handles Basketball's Ball on the String program. And again, I'm just showing the finger dribbling as well as the high to low dribbles. And next, I moved on to the tennis ball dribbling as I do every time I do my ball handling. And today felt pretty good. Uh, I kept having issues with some of the behind the back dribbles while I was doing this. Uh, but other than that, it, it went well. I think that I'm starting to get better at it, get better at the, the combo dribbling. So I just need to keep practicing it more and just keep getting my handles tighter. After I finished bouncing the tennis ball, I moved on to tossing the tennis ball. So something that I've been working on recently is trying to be able to move from one drill straight into the next one. So for example, move from crossing the ball over straight into going between the legs and just minimizing the, the regular dribbles in between. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily helping or if you know, that's something that's like improving my handles more than than just taking a couple dribbles to get into the next drill but that is something i've been focusing on recently next i moved on to tossing the tennis ball off the wall and something i've been trying to do more with this particular drill is when the tennis ball comes back to me instead of just catching it and tossing it off the ground i'm trying to almost dribble it off the ground which has been far more challenging than just catching it and tossing it then I just finished up with the between the legs and the behind the backs after that I moved on to form shooting and I gotta say my my percentages were far higher today than they have been recently which obviously I'm very happy about um, but yeah I, I was shooting a lot higher percentage on these form shots which doesn't really count for much because they're like five feet from the basket and they're form shots they're not <laughs> they're not game shots but I was still very pleased with how it went I've also really been focusing on trying to put more arc on these shots. I'm a firm believer that arc is your friend. So I'm trying to focus on getting more arc, potentially more than I would put on uh, most of my shots, especially my game specific shots. But I like the feel of it. I like to, I'm trying to get more in the feel of getting a little bit higher arc, higher release and all that. So in total, I shot 100 for 117, which was 85%, which is higher than what I have been making recently. And then after that, I moved on to uh, shooting from the low post area and working on getting those bank shots up. So aside from the runners and the floaters, uh, my percentages at these spots have also increased a little bit um, But I don't know what my problem is with the runners every time I go and shoot them. I feel like I, I miss a lot and I don't really know what my problem is. I need to really uh, study my shot how it looks and Do a little bit of research on maybe how to shoot them a little more properly But yeah, I just feel like there's no reason for me to be missing you know, eight shots when I'm only shooting 10. Um, and then with the floaters, I've never been one to shoot many floaters. And before I started working on this spot, uh, I've, I've only taken a handful of floaters in my life. Uh, just never really been my thing, but 
I do want to try and add it more so to my bag because of you know this being such a close shot to the basket I feel like I can easily get it off the backboard so uh, but same thing the percentage is really low with that um, and again it's just never been a shot that I took that much I don't have anything interesting to say here other than that I shot really poorly from this spot uh, anyway so here's a bunch of boring shots and boring statistics if you're interested in that type of thing So after that, I moved on to uh, this better goal because everyone else left the gym. And then I started working on these elbow shots. This is a spot that I've actually been getting to a lot in games. Uh, so I am trying to focus on getting my percentages up from these spots. Um, and then also kind of trying to figure out some different moves I want to go to. So with those lower shots, you know, I got the regular shot, the, the one dribble pull up, and then the runner and floater. But then from these elbows, I don't really have a, a variety like that. It's kind of just the shot and then a one dribble pull up. And I will do some floats, like floating back and forth to the elbows and going into the shot. But outside of that, I don't have other shots that I've been going to um, in, in my practice. So I'm just trying to find some different shot variations uh, I've thought about maybe adding a floater in but again I I don't use them very often I'm not sure if that's really the best option for me um, so just trying to find some different options that I could go to from the elbows So what I think I like about this uh, drill more than the shot itself is actually just the footwork of it. Uh, specifically when I'm floating to my right, so this shot, I like the footwork because it's not, it's not as comfortable as it is when I float to the left. And I like that because it's helping me get more used to that kind of awkward footwork and that's something that definitely translates into games. So after that, I spent some time shooting some three-pointers. Um, I was doing two-three shooting because that is my favorite shooting drill. And it took me forever to get past that first spot. So all in all, that was my totals, 22 for 42 shots, so 52% from three. Uh, these were just some extra shots that I took today. So 74% just on the additional shots. So in total, 296 for 402, 74%. That's actually not bad. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Um, obviously I'm going to keep working on getting that up even more, but just for my recent percentages, that is an increase. So I'm definitely happy to see my numbers going up.